Come on, Albert. It's Wednesday. That can only mean one thing. Jamie's off on a bike ride to improve our mental health and well-being. It's Easter week. Plenty of people out in the sunshine. Even I've got a t-shirt on today. And today, viewers, me and Joy, we're going to take you. We're going to take you up to Fleetwood, up the coastal path. We're going to go past Russell Point and head into Fleetwood and who knows, maybe even a food review when we get there. First stop, 1,200 meters, the boating pool. We're gonna take you the coastal route. Whew, it's a good one today, 12 miles all the way up there to Fleetwood. Let's see what's interesting along the way. Here's the boating lake. Didn't take long to get here, only a few minutes, uh, which is now a go-kart track. But in years gone by, well, little boats on there. And it's really high with the rocks around here, a lot on the lower level of the promenade. So uh, I don't know if it's still in operation. Look at the lift, look. That actually brings you out to uh, Uncle Tom's cabin where I was the other night. Grand old structure, eh? So let's keep going. That away. Just me, or does this remind you viewers of that game? Donkey Kong look, you had to go to the top and rescue the princess. We're up near uh, Bispam, uh, out on the beach. Uh, for some reason, this part of the beach lot just turns pebbly and loads and loads and loads and loads of rocks lot, all wash up. So uh, yeah, careful boats. There's a lot of bricks to breach the hull right here. Never noticed that before. There's the Irish Sea. Oh yeah. Gonna be an enjoyable ride this one today. We are at Norbrecht Castle now. Uh, that's where my one of my daughters works. And she told me a little fact about the castle. It was actually designed back to front. It's got a design fault. Because there's a nice little uh, cycle path lot. Takes us over the top. So uh, we're coming close to Cleveleys, it's not far in the distance. Albrecht Castle just needs a little bit of tender loving care, don't it? Needs a bit of money thrown at it. Oh, a magnificent location. You look out your window, you're paying 15 quid for a room, and look at the view. Look at that. Cheap as chips. Some of the original architecture there, viewers. Uh, we're in Little Bispam now, look. You might just be able to make it out. I'm sure it was a lot darker back in its heyday. It's a beautiful day today here in sunny Blackpool. Just doing a bit of climbing, hang on. At my age. So as you can see here, uh, it's like a boat mast. I'll turn the camera around so you can see better. You can stand up there, look out to sea. Ahoy! Pirates are coming. Oh, look at that. And we're going to keep going that way. It's a beautiful path. It's an easy ride. Difficulty scale for a bicycle ride so far, about a three. It's enjoyable. In the distance there, there's a little fair going on just out of uh, Bispen, in, uh, Anchor's home. I'm inspiring a few of you to get out of the house. We're now in Cleveleys, but we're going the cycle coastal route all the way, viewers. That was good timing on the bike shot, hey? So this is uh, the beach in Cleveland's Jamie's Rock and Soul. Uh, all going on, it's a lovely day. Even the village people are out today. Give us a YMCA, lads. Oh dear, I think he needs his lunch, viewers. I'll well, give you a little view of the Irish Ocean, as seen from Cleveland's. Romantic viewers. I'm coming down the promenade at Cleveland's. There's couples holding hands. Families out on the beach, enjoying themselves. Beautiful views of our Irish ocean, right here. So if you're in Blackpool, a little tram ride. It's only about two pound, three pound, or you could even walk it on a nice day like today. And get yourselves out to Cleveland's beach. Look at all the people, look. Great to see. Something else we like to see a lot. People out on a bike ride. Hello. And with kind permission from this family enjoying some lovely chips at Cleveland's Seafront, they're all out on a bike ride, look, viewers, look. There we 
living their best life, all the family. So why are you out today then? Love, are these your kids? Because it, yeah, because it's sunshine in them. We've, uh, we thought we'd get a bit of exercise and a bit of fresh air and some chips, of course. Then we could go to the arcade. What do you say, little man? And then he's going to arcade. <laughs> then you're going to arcade. Well, you've got to have a bit of fun, yeah. yeah. Let me finish having arcade. <laughs> but as long as you get healthy first, healthy mind makes you sensible, isn't that right? Fresh air is the best thing for you. And look at that. I don't care if you're eight years old or 80 years old. News flash. Part of a spaceship has washed onto the beach. Look at that. So as we approach Cleveland's, coming the scenic route, look at the clouds gathering on Barrow in the distance. So if you was on the tram, you'd be going over there, but we're not. This is Russell Beach. Very nice. Lots of people out with the families enjoying themselves. Taking up the skyline there, look. How lovely is that, viewers? Past Russell. Somebody out with the horse, look. I'll try and be very careful. So you can see what I'm seeing on this journey, which is why I always encourage you to get yourself out of the house. Look at this, it's so beautiful noise of the waves free spirit free mind free your soul beautiful i think we're just over halfway maybe more i'm not sure i don't care really it's quite an easy journey look look at the path in front of me there's nothing too challenging, although on the asphalt the tyres do feel heavy on this kind of uh, surface. But probably up to a four in difficulty, but not too bad. Not three bad even. There we go, leave with another little shot. It's like you get your own private beach, look. <laughs> if you bring your family down, look, you can have. You can have a beach to yourself. Which one? Help yourself. And there's uh, Blackpool's North Golf Course. A few people out on the course today over there. I think they're on about hole number four, five, about hole number seven. It's a full-size course, look. I think they call it a Lynx course, don't they, when it's next to the sea? Having a game of golf, he's just at a good shot as well. About six meters away from the pin. Hello, Hello. welcome to Jamie's Rock and Soul on YouTube. <laughs> Enjoying the lovely weather, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. A Russell Point on the way, it's an observatory uh, tower. If you look right up there, got a big giant camera. Look, you can just see it in the window. Look, looking all the way out over there. If you look in the distance, look, there's a ferry coming into port. Off to Fleetwood. There we go. I'll just keep my mouth shut a minute and let you have a nice look at this beautiful view. I think that's Barrow over there. And a lovely rock formation. Making their second appearance of the day, the village people lifting something big and heavy. I don't know what it is. Maybe some pipes or something. So apparently, due to some learned tourists, uh, that machine there drops that big weight and bangs them poles into the floor. Nice little lake here, look. Get a little barbecue going down there, get the sausages on. And here we are, quicker than expected. I thought I was in Cleveland's viewers, but we're in Fleetwood. Beach huts, viewers. And this nice lady's kind enough to talk to me. And so, how do I go about owning one of these, love? Uh, well, it's quite difficult. You've got to, basically, whoever owns them now gets the opportunity to buy the lease. Oh, okay. Um, it's a five-year lease, and then um, whichever are not bought, then I think go up for the public. So. Oh, okay. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this, viewers. You get one of these beach huts, and look what you wake up to every morning. Magnificent. Loving that. Thank you so much for talking to me, darling. So we're going to go round 
to where the little ferry leaves. Uh, all the little shops are open, look. Refresh yourself, get yourself an ice cream like that gentleman right there. Not quite sure what that building is. See that the dating scene here in Fleetwood is not dead. This is where all the teenagers come out to get the hot guys. Give us a wave to my channel, ladies. There's already a lucky fella hiding behind there, look, eh? Or in a lie. I've just got a little story off an architect. The, li uh, the lighthouse that used to be there was the world's first one to be built onto the sand and it was built by a blind Irishman. How crazy is that, viewers? So we scan around now. There's a couple of little cafes on the front. Uh, this is where you can get your little ferry to go to Not End, I'll show you. Takes you over to Not End. It's about, I don't know, about a five minute journey. It used to be two quid, but somebody tells me now it's three quid. They put the old price up. So I was wrong. It's right in the middle there. It's £2.50. Uh, 150 each way if you're a child in a pram. 50p for your bike and 50p for your dog. There you go. For another day. I'm saving my money for fish and chips. Or at least chips. We're going to get some chips after that bike ride. I'm not advocating eating fatty foods, but you've got to... You've got to burn a bit of energy if you're going to keep cycling. Fancy a chip butty with some curry sauce. How much is that going to set me back? Let's have a look. Three quid, about four quid. Not too bad. Ferry Cafe, right here on Fleetwood Sur, Fleetwood Front. Is it nice? Don't know. I'll tell you soon. This is the bonus content. The Ferry Cafe in Fleetwood. Food review. Let's go and get a seat. Let's go and show you the food. Family there looking out to see, look. There's the little doggy looking out that way. Admiring the beauty viewers. And the boat's coming in and out of um, Fleetwood Docks, look. The path on the floor, look. Loads of little fish. <laughs> all the little path of fish around, look. And they go all the way around and all the way up to that old lighthouse up there, look. It's an idyllic setting to do a little cheapy food review. Check this. Speak about mental health a lot. I've done 12 miles and I feel absolutely brilliant. This recharges you. Look at that look. See life over there look. Hello life. Okay, let's get to the food. So the ferry cafe here in Fleetwood. The chips, £2.95. Irish curry, never tried it in my life. £1.25 and I think it was one thirty for the can of coke. All in all came in at £5.40. So what is this Irish curry? Uh, 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 uh. There's a first for everything. I hope it's nice. Oh, now that is fruity. Bit of tang. But really nice. This lady probably agree. So it may not be the most extravagant cuisine, viewers. I'll tell you what, I'm quite happy with a portion of chips and some Irish curry on Fleetwood Front. My drink as well, less than a fiver. Where else can you go and get a a cheap day out like that, eh? I challenge you. I am attracting the attention of some birds though. Proper seaside chippy chips, look proper potatoes and I know I'm always positive but I tell you what look at these for lovely fresh chips look beautiful ferry cafe in Fleetwood I will be honest I've been to a lot of these like seafront chippies and they sometimes guff you know cheap produce just trying to get the money off the holiday makers 
I'll tell you what, these are nice. Fleetwood Ferry Cafe, your chips get a solid 8.5 out of 10. The curry sauce, amazing, 13 out of 10. Giving us an overall average of 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, Fleetwood. Loving the sunshine, look. <laughs> Jamie's in a t-shirt, yay! Sun is out, warm weather, people are smiling. You're not sat in your house being miserable. You're out and about living your best life, viewers. It's what life's all about. The food review might be simple. It might only be some chips and curry sauce. But look at the backdrop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boat out there. Hope he's bringing some table salt in. Wish I'd put a bit more salt on my chips. And I say it nearly every episode, viewers. These bins are here for a reason when you come to my beautiful town. Use them. We got to Fleetwood. We had a bit of food. But we're going to go back to Blackpool now. I think I'm going to attach the camera to the bars and let you enjoy some of the coastal sights to some soothing music before we leave Fleetwood. I'm going to let you relax and listen to the noise of the waves. Gonna ride up to Cleveland's now. Uh, I'm gonna shut up, put some nice music on, and you can enjoy the ride along the coastal path. You brought your little ball with you, ta, ta. <laughs> the things you see on a bike ride. And there's the boat we saw in Fleetwood racing along. And there's the tractor pulling him out, look. So they must live round here somewhere, eh? Let's get to North Pier and finish this in real time. Hit the like, subscribe, get notifications. There's a tenotaph perfectly aligned with Blackpool Tower. We're in the home straight. Jamie's Rock and Souls racing to the finish. Hello home. Hello tower. Back we are again. Right here. Nice to still see a few people about. We've been off the beaten track, but we're back in good old Blighty now. Ooh. Anyone for gin? I'm back at North Pier. I'm going home in a minute for a shower because whew, I stink of honesty. So I need to cleanse myself after that day of activities. Went past Russell Point. And all the way up to Fleetwood, we did a food review, and hopefully you enjoyed my company. Don't forget, hit like, give us a comment, and subscribe to Jamie's Rock and Soul.
where else do you want to be for the 2K24 season? Love yous. Beautiful day right here in Blackpool, full of young couples, full of love, holding hands. This guy here is going to pop the question. Whee! Say hello to Jamie's Rock and Soul, sir. Hello, Jamie's Rock and Roll. Rock and Soul. Rock and Soul. I mean, some things just don't cost money. Beautiful. Can't take the bike down there, I'm sorry. I'm going home. Bye now.